makes two this week. Friggin' right. Welcome to the vlog. What's up, guys? Welcome to the vlog. I've been working pretty much all day. I got up late per usual, and I've been out here. Got those two yards done. I hate doing them the same day, but I've got them on the same schedule. So that one's done. That one's done. I did that yesterday. That leaves mine for the remainder, remaining balance of the week, which is good. Well, so I've been under the car now for a while, doing some work. Um, You'll notice I have my temp sensor disconnected. If we were to put a key in, it says negative 40 degrees. That seems to be the default it goes to when your temperature sensor is all disconnected and discombobulated and stuff. That, that's what the temperature sensor looks like. That's the belly pan. I have that taken off. It's covered in gravel and oil and power steering fluid and all kinds of stuff. It's nasty. Um, so, you remember when I was over here last week, I took off this bracket, this driver's side strut tower. I cleaned all of this, took the intake off, uh, plenum, this piece that comes into the mass airflow sensor, took the box off the filter, the lower box that goes into the air ducting that feeds air in from the bumper under the car. And when I had this off, this is the oil filter right here and then the power steering reservoir right here. Notice I have the cap off that. Um, I took removed this bracket to clean in here. Everything looks really nice. It's clean. Um, but when this was off, it may have turned upside down which is bad news because that means air gets into your system. And over the past, ever since I did that, which was late last week, I think. What the, when is the, today's Monday, yeah, so mid late last week, I've noticed about two thirds of the time, it's intermittent, I get this groaning noise in the steering. Picture it like a, um, it's like the Mayflower out on the open ocean and down in the, in the basement, what do you call that? Down in the hull of the ship, you'd hear that, the wood creaking and stuff, and it doesn't sound good. Steering kind of vibrates a little bit. It works fine, I don't notice in any, in any way that it, it doesn't feel like it steers correctly, but I'm um, trying to fix this. Um, my my uh, instinct is to just drain all the fluid out and replace it. I, I don't remember ever do. I've never done this myself. I don't know if Dave Walter did it when they had the car in at some point. Uh, as far as I know, it's been years since it's been done, so it's good to replace anyways. I bought a quart of Mobile One fully synthetic. I wanted to get Royal Purple. Uh, but AutoZone didn't have it, Walmart didn't have it, and I'm not driving 35, 40 minutes down to uh, Summit Racing. I'm sure they'd have it. This was only 10 bucks. It's what I topped it off with when I got the car. That's the last time I had the reservoir off and filled it. Um, synthetic ATF is what the power steering uses. So um, supposedly there's a, a drain bolt down here, which is not the case, because the power steering pump, it's that bottom pulley on the serpentine belt, the steering pump is uh, right here, so I'm going to have to remove this lower hose. It's just a band clamp. Let as much fluid as I can drain out and then replace it. And I really hope that makes it go away because that's about all I can do myself. So, uh, wish me luck. Ten hours have passed. We're in the garage. The car's complete. Everything's put back together. Filled the system up. Drove it a little bit. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work or not. It doesn't seem real promising yet, so I'll keep you up to date with with whatever goes down. Putting that damn belly pan back up here is a pain in the ass because mine, I'm missing some screws, which I could buy for like six bucks, but I haven't because that would involve, I don't want to. Um, so I kind of fabricated my own method using some bolts and some nuts and some washers, which requires removing the passenger side fender liner and it took me like an hour to put that back together. But it is back together. It's tight and it's right. It just isn't right with the right tools. Right screws. I'm talking to Colt. He's working on the 540. Go watch his vlog. It's probably be in there. Um, what else? We went to Brad's. We watched a movie with Ricky Bobby. That was interesting. If I've ever seen it, it's been forever. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Roz is coming over at noon. No idea what we're doing. I'll probably film it. Got a couple, excuse me, four things coming in for the car. Expect the 39 source video. That's it. Sorry today's vlog is only four clips. It kind of sucked. I'll try to do better tomorrow. I'll talk to you then at 6... 9.68? 9.69? I don't know. Come back tomorrow and find out. Good night.